I am Professor Vinster. Welcome to Terplastic World. We're going to do the unboxing of this new 3D printer filament connector I bought from Amazon. I actually ordered it this morning at 3 o'clock in the morning and it was here at 2 o'clock the same day. So we'll open this up. Not really sure which way. I think it goes this way. dollars there's some cheaper ones on there but uh, I was looking at them and they didn't really thrill me this looks like some abrasive pads not sure I haven't read the instructions there's the destructions I call them instructions destructions I usually make it into a destruct and yes we do have some ah, actually we have a pair of scissors here which makes even more sense Cut that open with some scissors. Do that. And there's the unit right there. Oh, that's pretty nice. Really nice. Before I start doing anything stupid with it, pushing on it open and all that stuff, let's uh, actually. Uh, figure out what's going on here. What do we got in this box here? Now we've got, there we go. It's quite the, the unit. Plug it in. This obviously plugs into here. And this is your start button. Of course you're not plugged in, so. And the destructions. Instructions. Come with it. And it shows you basics. The do's and don'ts, so you should be reading this. It shows you this little timer here. I've seen the picture of it, and I thought it was going to come with it, but I didn't see anything that says it doesn't come with it, but it's not there, so I'll use my cell phone. And it does 1.75 millimeter. I'm sure you can get the one that's different this is the one that I want this is all I use maximum temperature is 220 PLA ABS PETG PC and TPU and uh, uses actually uh, 240 volt power and of course my unit here is set up for uh, in Canada. Now we have it plugged in. And the unit is it's pretty stiff. But obviously it has to be. So I am going to turn this off for a minute and get my glasses because the eyes aren't like they used to be. Okay now, 
according to this. We're going to open up the clamp, put the end of one filament into the middle of the heater and the close of that clamp. Okay, so we're going to open this up and we're going to put this one in and we're going to close the clamp. Done. Close the clamp. Hold the insert the filament. Insert the filament the other end, the other side, which we have here. We insert that through. Nope, oh, push it too far. We're going to do that again because I obviously pushed it too far. It has to go right in the center where the heater is. So you don't want to push this one in too hard, which I just found out. We're going to push this in. To touch and there it is it's touched then it says right here turn on the switch heat turns uh, uh, off after heating uh, okay about 1.5 to 2.5 minutes according to suggested heating time for different materials now it doesn't give me a chart for that so I assume that that right now and you should never assume but I mean I'm gonna assume that basically what it's saying is it's a, this is um, PLA plus and okay so I'm going to get my cell phone ready and I'm going to use it as a timer I'm going to set it up for timer and there's our timer my timer is going to be set to like it said uh, Let's go to 230. So that's 230. Okay, so we're going to set that down there. And we are going to push on. And here we go. And we're going to see what happens. Now I have no idea if it's getting hot. I'm not going to test it with my finger. I guess if I had one of those doohickeys that shine on there from the garage, I'd be able to tell the temperature, which might be another idea one day. So we're going to do just exactly what it's telling us to do. So I'm going to actually turn this off because you guys don't want to see this. Okay, from 7, 6, 5. Oop, I'm behind. All right. Turn that thing off. Turn that off first. There we go. Now, same with the timer again. We've got to let it cool for at least five minutes. So we're going to set it for five minutes and start. So, again, you don't have to watch this. Okay, here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so we can take that out of there now. Now, let's see what happened. This thing should be cooled down now. Bring this up here, and we're going to release it. Yes, look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That'll run through the machine like crazy. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what I wanted. The reason I got this machine... Let me just uh, bring the camera up here. Hang on. I'm not sure how close I am. If I'm really close, it's probably scary as heck. Anyway, it did a really nice job. And the reason I bought this machine was because I have a couple printers, <clears throat> the Clarity printers, that like to clog up when you're changing them. So I thought, I use the same filament all the time, same color. So I thought, when I get down to a certain point, why not add with this machine the new coil 
right to it and just let it feed itself in instead of messing around trying to pull it out and do all that kind of stuff so I thought for 60 bucks plus tax this will be a lifesaver I've heard more horror stories of guys getting clogged up and it takes so long you gotta pull it out you gotta make sure it pulls out you gotta put the next one in there's another piece in there that the little piece gets jammed in the gears so this is what I think is going to save me from all that problem. And I do watch my filament all the time make sure when it's running out. So I will have time to attach this. Yes, it takes two minutes, over two minutes to, to seal and attach. And five minutes to cool. But hey, it's worth it. So thanks for watching. And I'm really not sure the spelling of this is... Uh, it's... Uh, WT Sport. WT Sport? Is it here? Oh no, it's VIT Sport. VIT Sport. Whatever that means. That's the company. Anyway, you can get it on Amazon. And sorry if I pronounced it wrong, but it's a great machine. That's the first time I used it while you watched. And I'm impressed. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.